Are you hoping to migrate to Australia? And you are wondering, what is the quota? What's the government, federal government quota for migration for the year 2022 slash 2023? Then this video is for you. I'll be showing you guys. I'll be talking about the different uh, quota and I'll be comparing it from last year 2022 to 2021 2022 to 2022 2023 so the list came up a couple of months ago and i am filming the video now so you guys can have an idea that what is going on what your chances are for getting pr or migrating to australia and everything in between okay so if that is something you're interested in keep on watching this video okay hi my loves welcome back to another video welcome 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 back hope you guys are doing well my name is lola if you see me for the very first time welcome welcome back and that is a period okay <laughs> so uh if it's your first time welcome if you are returning welcome back so today we'll be talking about the the quota for migration to australia in the year 2022 slash 2023 so the federal government has the new budget and when the budget comes out they kind of give the quota for who how many people they want to come um, how many people they need to migrate to australia for that financial year and i'll be comparing it to 2022 2021 2020 i'll be comparing 2021 2022 and 2022 2023 so keep on watching and do not go anywhere i would explain all of that in this video so uh before i continue i'm not a migration agent disclaimer i'm just someone who enjoys filming videos about studying in australia student life in australia and if that is something you are interested in then definitely keep on watching this video and do not go anywhere okay baby girl i've got you welcome back guys and we're just going to talk about the migration program planning levels as announced as part of the 20 22 2023 federal government budget so the visa stream i mentioned the visa stream visa stream here is skill so like the skilled migration and everything in between so the visa category and then the year okay so we have employer sponsored visa in the year 2021 to 2022 i'm doing a comparison so you guys can see how much it has increased okay it has increased quite a bit okay so 2021 2022 employer sponsored uh slots were 22,000. so they were willing to sponsor uh they were willing to accept 22,000 applications but for the year 2022 2023 drum roll guys it has increased to 30,000. okay that is quite a huge number that's 8,000 more people that's a lot now we have skilled independent visas so it was 6500 this was for the whole of australia and then each area will now have their own um quota out of all of this so they share this among the different regions i think based off of the size and the population there okay so the bigger regions probably get more quota and the smaller regions will get smaller quota okay now for skilled independent visa it was 6500 in the year 2021 to 2022 and guys 2022 to 2023 it has increased by over 10000 it has increased to 16652 wow that is a lot next it's regional visas regional was 11200 as a 2021 2022 now 2022 2023 it is 25000 guys that is a lot it has more than doubled <laughs> next is the state or territory nominated visa it went from 11200 in the last financial year to 20000 in this current financial year it almost doubled and then we have business innovation and investment went from okay okay there's there's like a slight curve here <laughs> just like a slight curve here <laughs> so for business innovation and investment they actually dropped it down so it went from thirteen thousand five hundred last year and it dropped to nine thousand five hundred for this financial year so they removed a couple thousands from there uh like four thousand they removed like four thousand slots um that's quite a lot uh i'm sure there's a reason why they did that then the global talent which is independent um that also reduced it was fifteen thousand last year 
for some reason the figure is not round they reduced it to eight thousand four hundred and forty eight they could have made it eight thousand four fifty <laughs> or eight thousand five but for 2021 2022 it was fifteen thousand for 2022 2023 it is eight thousand four forty eight okay and next uh distinguished talent well that increased a little bit a little little bit so distinguished talent was 2000 as of last year this year it is no not 2000 sorry it was 200 last year 2021 2022 2022 2023 it has increased to 300 guys that is not a huge increase but it increased by 100 that is not bad okay that is distinguished talent in total last year uh, we had 79,600 slots for like migration. Yes For the year 2022-2023 coming closer maybe Now it has increased to what? 109,900 That is a lot. That is almost 30,000 increase over 20,000 increase mm. Well yeah, it's 20,000 actually. 20,300 increase thereabout. So that is quite a lot. So I just thought to share this with you guys. If you are still open to Jagba, Jagba, or you want to migrate to Australia and you are wondering what the figures are, what your chances are, I can tell you things, our numbers have increased, but have the processes stayed the same? You have to watch my other video to find out about that so there's a video about the changes to migration for my city tasmania so definitely watch out for that video okay so this is the list of uh how many the quota the government has given the federal government has given for the year 2022 2023 and it has increased quite a lot some of them reduced but most of them went up which is a good thing okay so there we have it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you all so so much for watching like this video subscribe to my channel if you are still here you've enjoyed this video up to this point and you have not subscribed what is stopping you leave me in the comments why you have not subscribed tell me tell me i want to know okay that will be all for this video okay that would be all for this video thank you all so so much for watching i love you all and baby girl we'll see you all in our next video I will see you all in my next video. I don't know why I, said, I refer to myself in tough person. But I will see you all in my next video, okay? Thank you all so, so much for watching. Bye.